and welcome back to the Fox shop and today let's take a look at the truck here uh, I've been doing darn shoulders still bothering me but haven't been doing really much of anything on this but I have been spraying the bolts on the uh, intake plenum I don't know there's well there's five that I can get to down in here there's one up here one there a couple back here and then also this tube right back in there been soaking those in penetrating penetrating fluid pb blaster for a few days now and i was going to start tearing this apart i have the um the valve cover gasket right here got the intake plenum gaskets here and inside this here box is the uh whatever cover that is push rod cover gasket it's inside there haven't even opened that yet just been soaking things it's been it, it's been really hot but today it's rather cool we are uh we're in the middle i'd say the middle 60s right now not much wind out here pretty cool had about seven tenths of an inch of rain last night and we're going to be getting in the field i think uh well i just talked to my dad tomorrow we're going to be putting up augers and you know, augers to our to our bins and i think getting the wagons out getting them all hooked up to the tractors and just getting things ready to go and then i think in the next day or two the next day or two or a day or two after that we're going to start combining well not combining not combining corn but beans there's been a few people that have been out combining beans. Um, a few actually been combining corn as well. Our beans, um, we don't have very many early beans, so we haven't had any that are ready yet. We do have some that are ready now, but yet there's still some, some spots in the field that just aren't quite dry enough. Uh, the beans aren't dry enough. So we're going to wait a few more days and see what happens. Which we aren't supposed to get any rain in the next few days. Maybe next weekend. Today's Sunday. Maybe next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think there's a chance, as of right now, there's a chance like every day. But uh, I imagine we'll get going. And once we get going, we usually don't stop. We find places to keep going. But anyway, what I was getting at was I was going to start tearing this into this truck. I think you can, I think this shows up better on camera than it's a little dark in here. I need to get me a light right up here, but. Um, I'm going to start tearing in this truck and get this, get this all torn apart, but I don't know if I want to be working on this, you know, after I get in from out of the field and so forth. And so I don't want to have it torn apart for who knows how long. Yeah, I could work on it if it's raining or, you know, whatever, get a day off because of rain or, or whatever but might not feel like doing it then either the truck drives right now but i'm not going to be driving it either so i haven't quite decided exactly what i want to do at the moment i am going to do this whether it's whether i start i may start today i don't know but but am going to uh am going to do this but there may be some farming videos either mixed in or just all before um, i get going on the truck and the weird thing is i have had it running haven't really noticed much of an oil leak anywhere. I don't think even underneath of it, there's been, you know, maybe a, maybe a few drips. And if that's all it does, I'd be okay with that. But uh, I have the parts, so might as well get that stuff replaced. And when I do get out in the field, I know uh, Leanna, she wants to come out and ride around with me. I'm gonna teach her to drive that thing. Um, just gonna have to be careful, that's all, but uh, she grew up on the farm, hasn't driven equipment like what we have, but she, want, she wants to come out and ride around. I'm going to put her to work. And that also means you'll get a chance to meet Leanna, because we're going to start doing stuff on the cooking channel. Still haven't done that. Um, I, am, I am seriously considering... I am seriously considering transforming this building, this old gas station building into a building where I can do cooking videos. Needs to clean up a little bit. Need to, well, I don't even know where this old couch came from, but get rid of that, put it, probably put it on the burn pile. 
just clean this mess up probably just move some stuff over into there and these windows are not in very good shape but I think if I if I could oh well, yeah not in very good shape uh, yeah no but get me a new window in here what I'd like to have you know is a window where I can well I guess opening the bottom would be okay bottom or top um, and then I could put the griddle right in here get some lighting because right now the only lights we have well that one there which no light bulb that one there there's no fuses in the fuse box got to get that going clean it up a little bit in here and uh and i think it'd make a pretty good uh pretty good place to cook and griddle out kind of outside in the winter time instead of doing it just in a regular kitchen in the house yeah get this cleaned up wouldn't take a whole lot to get this stuff at least moved around somewhere and then uh and then been thinking as well maybe next year if this if this turns out uh, i'd like to have a window that i can open just to vent that's pretty much all it would be for is just to vent the the griddle out um I think it'd be neat to put a deck on out here maybe even wrap it around that way a little bit you know or you could sit out here in the summertime and griddle griddle and eat and have a fire pit and I think it'd be pretty nice anyway I'll link that channel down below I guess both dogs are out I'll link the uh the cooking channel down below it's called the hungry fox get off of my foot It's called The Hungry Fox. Um, but if you look up The Hungry Fox on YouTube, I think you're gonna come up with a bunch of kids' books. So I'll uh, I'll link it down below. Or you can look up The Fox Shop BBQ. That's originally what it was called. And that will bring it up as well. But as far as this old girl goes, um, I was gonna drive it, you know, like back and forth over to my dad's during harvest and everything. But I have my other truck I can drive. I got my old Tahoe that I can drive. And uh, I just haven't decided what I want to do on this. I did clean out the back end of it. And not too bad. Not too bad. I think we can make this truck look pretty darn nice. Uh, the, I think about the most expensive part is getting two new bedsides for it. Do that. And the rest of it, a couple new fenders, passenger door, and a little bit of little bit of floor work, not very much. Paint it up and it looked pretty sharp. Darn thing, god that darn thing drives good. I'm just amazed how good this truck drives. Also just need to get it cleaned up in here. This is just it's just a mess. I just really haven't uh haven't done much. Heck I still got the old parts of the clutch off of this truck. A lot of this stuff can go back on the shelves. Books can be put away. Just all this stuff could be put somewhere. But um, just have not done it. Also, a week ago, changed the brakes on a friend of Leanna's on her vehicle, which was an Audi... What the heck is it? Audi... Huh. Audi Q, Q5S or something like that. And, uh, and I've never been beaten by anything on a vehicle before and I probably could have got it but it was it was starting to get kind of late at night she had to get going the next morning she was going down to Kansas City and uh, I was having a heck of a time with that thing so finally called called out um, it was a friend of her friend of her daughter's I guess and they came out um, he's worked on them before at first he thought they were the wrong the wrong parts the wrong pads but uh, he managed to get them in there and once we got once we got the passenger side on, he got the driver's side on in probably 20 minutes. And not exactly sure what the problem was. It's like the pistons had dual piston caliper. It's like he couldn't get those pistons compressed. And then he had a, a tool. Wasn't really made for that, but um, but he got the job done. If it wasn't for him coming out, I don't know if I would've got it done. I was, I was about ready to give up. I just, something so simple as putting brake pads on, it was ridiculous. It was just, just absolutely ridiculous remind me again not to work on an audi work 
work on these old Ford trucks. Um, I, I can do that. I can fix pretty much anything on these. So I took a chance and told her I could do it. Just, just had a heck of a time. So, um, anyway, mental note, don't do that again. And that's why I don't like working on other people's stuff. So anyway, yeah, I need to decide what I want to do with this and then either do it or not do it. I guess my biggest fear is getting stuff torn apart. I don't think there's going to be that many nuts and bolts, but get things torn apart, get busy out in the field, not work on this, forget how everything came apart, goes back together. Although that's a, that's a good thing for a cell phone. You can take pictures of all that stuff. So anyway, I did get my heater on. I just tried that a little bit ago just to see if it would run. Had to jump. This thing is old. I mean, it is probably, I guess I'm 25, 30 years old, something like that. And something on the circuit board went out in the igniter. I think it was the igniter. Wouldn't, well, it wouldn't, the glow, whatever you call it, the glow igniter um, just wouldn't turn on. And I had a jump between, well, it's the black and the red. And one of these came off. I couldn't remember for sure where it went, but um, I guess I guessed right because it worked. So at least I can have some heat in here um, if I do come down here and work. It's not supposed to get real cold, but at night it can get pretty, pretty chilly. But it looks like it's going to be in the middle 70s for next few weeks. But if we're out in the field, I just, I don't know. I just don't know if I want this all torn apart and probably not going to feel like working on it when I get out of the field. I'd rather be up in the house with, uh, with Leanna and some food and watch something on TV and relax. But at the same time, I'd like to work on the truck. So anywho, that's what's going on right now. And, uh, we're going to get out in the field here before too long. And there'll be some farming videos coming up. And I have some things, to, you know, I, ha I have some things to explain uh, with that as well. But we'll do that once we get out in the field. But probably going to have, uh, have quite a few more farming videos this year than I did last year. I know, just a car went by. Because I don't think I had, maybe I put out two last year. I'm... I'm gonna try to do a little bit better on that. I know some people like the farming videos, so might as well make them. I'm, I'm out there anyway. So if you would, head over to my other channel and subscribe to that. We're gonna, we're, we are going to get going on that channel. Um, also hit the like button for this, for this channel. That, that does help with the YouTube algorithm. So as usual, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.